Good morning. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I'm the Scary DBA. It's a blustery, cold spring morning here at uh, Castle Fritchie, and um, I want to talk to you about our new backup product, SQL Backup Pro version 7. It's got a couple of new features that are pretty cool. First off, we can do backup verification as you're writing your backups using checksum. Neat stuff. And we've got an entire suite of automated restores so you can do backup testing and backup verification. That's important stuff. Let's go check it out. What we have here is your standard backup wizard. Now I'm just going to run through the screens really quickly. This allows us to back pick a server. I get to pick a database and a backup type. I can set where it's going, what, how I want it to behave as far as you know, um, overriding whether or not I do a copy of the network. Um, I've got compression. I've got optimization. Here's where I wanted to get to. I want to show you that we've got this new thing built into the automation part of it, checksum. It's right here, and it will test the pages as they're written to the backup, and it's just a huge, huge additional safety check built into the automation that it wasn't there before. You can, of course, also turn on Restore Verify Only, which does a, a check on the header of the backup, and it uses the checksums if they're available, which they are in this case. And now all of that is going to be um, part of our backup process. And we'll go ahead and click on through Next, and this is where we could script it out and save it, or click Finish and run a backup. I want to show you one more thing. This is my full SQL Backup Pro 7 window, and you can see all the stuff that's on here. But the main thing I want you to focus on is up here in the upper left where it says Schedule Restore Jobs. It's a new wizard. Let's click on it and check out what it does. If we take a look, we've got um, select a destination server. We can um, look for particular files, or we can um, do searches for a particular database. In this case, I'll do AdventureWorks assuming I can type it correctly. And we'll say Add Folder, and it's going to put my default folder in. Then we click Next, and we can now then decide how we want to do the restore. So let's assume we could restore over an existing database, and so we'll get a list of databases here, and we can set that up that way. Or I can create a new database and override on subsequent restores and kill any connections. Now you want to be careful about using the kill connections because if this is a production system and you were killing connections, you could you know, do bad things to your system. You could lose all kinds of transactions and stuff. But assuming that we're doing this kind of backup testing that I'm talking about on a test server, a staging server, development server, something offline, something non-production oriented, you may want to set that up just to kick out anyone who's, who's got a lingering connection in there. And then we'll say, you know, it's, it's AW test is the name of our database. You click Next, and it's going to let um, the default file locations go, or you can modify these as needed. You can then do the following, and this is where it gets fun. You can run DBCC checks against your backup. Now, what this allows you to do is two things. If you automate a, a restore on a different system from your production environment, you get to test your production backups first, but second, you can run DBCC checks against those backups. If there is corruption inside your production system, the backups will have that same corruption, and the running DBCC against it will validate it. But you can also run additional checks if needed. And when you're done, assuming a successful run, you can drop the database. You can make sure that it does a full restore, or you can put it into standby mode. You can check for orphan users. And then you can create a schedule for when you want this to run, however often you know, you're doing it. Click Next. And now what I've got is a full restore job that allows me to automate all of my backups, all of my backup testing, I should say, and database consistency checks offline from my production system all through an automated mechanism within SQL Backup Pro. Right. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I'm the Scary DBA.